What up everybody, Nightmarcher002 here with a uh, new horror game, RPG, Skinwalkers. I have never seen this game before, so it is a first for me. Let's go! The following story really happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Maybe it didn't happen as I saw it, but more on that later. We were all going out camping, me and three friends from university. Let me introduce my friends. This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of friends leader. Or actually I would. He's the one that always gets us all out of the house and into the action. He's the first one to hit on that cute girl by the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof into the swimming pool. According to himself, he has even more impulsive when he was a kid. Oh, that would have sucked. I can only imagine his childhood and how often he must have broken his leg, scraped his knees, and hit his head. Oh, wow, that sounds like a mutant right there. Still, if it weren't for Darren, we wouldn't have half the amount of fun we have. That sounds like a really good friend, actually. This is this girl is Celeste. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved into the house next door when I was seven. My mom told me to go show her around the neighborhood, and after that, we we're inseparable for a few years. She's a nice girl. Although her health isn't the best, she has some kind of heart problem, which I forget the name of. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of time during her childhood. Because of this, until we started university, I was her only friend. Oh, that is awesome. Still, she never complained, and I've always seen her as a positive, happy girl. Something tells me she's gonna die. <laughs> Next is me. I'm Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. Bull! I don't have any overwhelmingly bad qualities, but on the other side, on the other hand, I don't have any overwhelmingly good ones either. I live in this apartment a short walk from my university. This is where us four friends usually gather before going out. This guy here that looks like a chick honestly I'm sorry but it's pixels looking all relaxed on my bed is Michael he's my neighbor living in the apartment next door one day while I had Plesty over he just barged in hey man your place looks pretty nice mind if I join you for dinner he said as you can imagine he's pretty pushy I don't think he realizes it himself he came over several times after that day after that we somehow naturally became friends. So, one day Darren came with the idea that we should go camping. Really? In these woods? Cause, come on. Darren said his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest. So camping we went. It could be fun, right? Of course, me, Michael, Celeste disliked the idea of staying in a cabin. Okay, I'll be real right now. If my friend said we're going camping, I'm bringing my fucking knives. All of them. I got like... Giga, Camel, Neef. Giga. I have five knives. Giga is my biggest. It's a camping trip. We have to sleep in the wilderness. So Darren told us about the woods near the cabin. I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we drove up the cab Blech. We drove up to the cabin and left the car there. We took a short break into the cabin and set out into the wilderness. We went pretty far in. I can't say how far in the distance exactly. But it took several hours to get where we set up camp. Oh my god, these words are freaking messing up my eyes. The first day we just screwed around. Next abnormal, well nothing, 
abnormal happened. What the fuck did I get next from? Good dude. Yet. Haha! -ha! But then. I can move around now, cool. I believe Z was action. No need to go to the tent right now. Okay. A cooking pot. I need water to cook anything. Okay. Can I not talk to this? Oh, he's sleeping on the way. Did you sleep well last night? Yes! It's our fireplace. I need to gather some wood if I want to make a fire here. Shoots. Morning there. Or should I say good afternoon? Fix us some wood for a fire, will ya? Bitch. I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. I'm waiting for something to happen. What is that sound? It doesn't sound like something you hear in a w in a forest. Fuck no, it's not. There we go. A bucket of water. Can I not explore? Okay, well, whatever the case, I'm getting the hell out of here. The sound stopped. I'm gonna get abducted and I'm gonna die. <laughs> I should have enough wood to make the fire last a while longer. Alright. Pour water into the cooking pot, now what? We can cook now, yay! There's enough wood to... Oh, yay! Now what? Alright, let's cook something up, shall we? Yay! Later that evening. <laughs> oh, pfft. I thought this was a cutscene. God damn it. Can I talk to someone? It's time to go to sleep soon. We're all out of booze. I guess we have to go back to town tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that four-hour trick. Maybe we shouldn't have gone so deep in. <laughs> what the hell's up with this fog? Every time I've been here before, there haven't ever been any fog. Well, clearly we're going to die, that's why. It's really chilly outside for being in the middle of summer. Hey, anyone you know else hear that sound? Yeah, now that you mention it, what is that? Sounds like something... Medley. Medley. Haha. <laughs> Is that even a word? Are you stupid? Shut up, asshole. It's a word if I say so. Yep, we are going to get abducted and we're going to die. It stopped. Maybe it was some kind of machine? I'm just gonna make a Russian accent for Michael Kuskan. Who, who the hell would go out here, out hours, from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night? I don't know, dude. And start revving up some kind of weird machine. Who gives a shit? It's probably someone using chainsaw or something. Dude, does that sound like a chainsaw? I don't think so. Ah, damn you white people and your stupid horror movie shenanigans. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> sure. I'm sure that was no chainsaw. I wonder what it was. Please tell- okay, you know what? I'm gonna be the white man in this stuff and go check it out. I shouldn't go too far from the camp. It's evening and I don't want to go walking through a dark forest. Damn it. I was gonna say I will be that freaking white guy to go check shit out because I'm an idiot. Sleepiness soon overtook everybody. Ooh. But something woke you up a few hours later in your half-wake state. You stumbled outside the tent. Darren? Michael? 
Celeste! Is that you? The mist is even thicker than before. I can't see much. Okay, so everybody's gone. I should check out the sound. Yep, there it is. The Yup, 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 yup. Hello! But Michael, is that you? Say something, will you? Who are you? Whoa, stop right there. I have a knife. Yeah! You said you have a knife and you run like a pansy. What the hell? Sorry for my swearing, but. <laughs> okay, so. Go to sleep. You should be fine. Hey, wake up! There's something outside the tent! Ugh. I'm sure there is. Lots of squirrels and shit. I like to sleep. Hey, is Michael here? Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. The thing outside looked like you! It was probably some animal. Bitch, I know what I saw. I don't think we have to worry about a fox or whatever. Take it easy and go back to sleep. Well, alright then. Maybe it was just some animal. But those sounds. A few minutes later. <laughs> Okay, drop it. Whoever that is, I want to sleep already. It wasn't me. Me neither. Well, shit. Now I'm never gonna be able to sleep. Yes, yes. Yeah. What if it's some crazy cycle with an X? All the more reason to check it out. It's not like the tent is some kind of impenetrable fortress. Alright, who's getting dragged off? Okay. Everyone get out together and check it out. I ain't going alone. Yes, be like fucking Friday the 13th. What the heck is that? C c calm down, Celeste. We are four against one here. It'll be fine. What if the dude got some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little critter, didn't he? We can't just up and leave. It's the middle of the night. What about our stuff? Yeah, this micro screw our stuff! <laughs> I'm not staying here any another minute. Fine, we'll leave. But at least bring the flashlight and some food and water. I think we're over I think we're overreact ah, I think you're overreacting though. We haven't even seen anyone. Bit but we heard someone! Still. Someone or something left this dead creature here. We can't exactly go back to sleep with no worries. I guess you're right. I'll go get the flashlight. Everyone bring some stuff think that you think we might need. Yeah, sure, a knife, a katana, an axe, a wood. A couple minutes later. Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh, the freaking noise is fucking loud as shenanigans. Take the safe route. D 
This way, oh, this way is the lake. We're not going this way. All right. So, what? I thought the other way was the lake. At least it's still summer. It's not pitch black. This fog is really getting annoying. Uh, Kevin, right? I guess that's the plan. Someone's gonna get grabbed. Nope. We're being followed though. A while later, it became obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. He was swearing and looking all around. We have been walking for awfully long now. Are you sure this is the right path, Darren? I've walked this path hundreds of times. We are on the right path. I don't recognize anything from when we were walking to the camp there. I said we are on the right path. God damn, dude, chill. But as time went on, it became obvious that Darren had no idea where. Oh, you, I would knock the shenanigans out of you. Darren couldn't help, couldn't find the path. Maybe it was the fog, maybe the darkness, maybe something else. Either way, we were lost. I kept looking behind me. I was having that feeling where you think someone is watching or stalking you. I nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Hopefully, fuck yeah! And dragged her to her feet. It was getting even. If not for the flashlight, I wouldn't have any idea who she was. I recognize that tree. We're getting to the cabin! Again, I had the feeling that something was watching us. My gut was screaming at me at some at me that something, somewhere, was wrong. I realized the sound from earlier was back, softer, but still present. I started looking around and panicked. Oh, panicking. Did a head count, or more accurately, I don't know what the fuck that word. Me, Celeste, still holding my hand. Darren in the lead, Michael to the left. Who the hell was the guy besides Michael? My grip on Celeste's hand tightened and I quickened my pace. I thought about shouting out but was worried. If I did, maybe the thing would turn around and jump Michael or something. I didn't know what to do. I ran my fingers along a knife I brought from the camp. Then the cabin appeared. Out of nowhere, the mist was starting to distinguish it around us. Disintegrate around us. It was earlier to make out who every... Oh, it was easier. God damn, it looks like an L. It was easier to make out who everyone was now. I looked at the thing next to Michael. He looked just like Celeste. The thing whose hand I was holding leaned in front of me. It wasn't Celeste. I should have ran or screamed, but my body was clenched, clenching up for no reason. The thing turned and walked into the mist. I caught up with the others as they entered the cabin, practically in tears. They couldn't find the car and were arguing about where we put it. I told them what I saw. Obviously, they didn't believe me. Still, everyone hurried inside and looked and locked the door. Oh, thank God. He followed us here. He really wants something from us. He doesn't seem to have anything to break the door down with, though. What the hell does he even want with us? Hell if I know! Ask him! The hell do you want? Hey, don't touch the door. 
I wasn't gonna. We're safe here. It's cool, man. It's a sturdy door. It'll be alright. Want it? I don't know, dude. Boom! Aw. Oh. Wait a sec. Aw, oh, you guys, come on. Alright. Yup, 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 shit. <laughs> Shit! A bastard hit the breaker, but he can't get in. But he can't get in, right? Shall I see you, dumb bitch? He, he is just, just trying to scare us. Take it easy. Well, Celeste, you dumb bitch, you ran out. Oh, okay, so it's a, okay, there's Celeste. I'll be right there for you, Celeste. I'm just gonna look around the house, make sure all them fucking doors are closed. Okay, good. She seems to be hyperventilating. It's alright. Celeste, the door is locked. And it's the only way in. We're safe here. No response. to believe what you say you saw earlier it, it's fine it's, he's just trying to scare us can I open the door now then nothing useful inside does your family or something not stash a shotgun or something in this house I'm just... Oh, there we go. Who is that? Is it becoming more clear or no? Huh. Simple kitchen. Kitchen. Stable wares. I'm trying to look around, see if there's like a weapon or something. Again with the fucking. Animal. We're safe here. It's cool, man. Wait. Okay, good. She calmed down. Darren's here. Okay, good. They just moved them. Alright, shoots. You saw something looking like me? Yep, and, um... We're probably gonna die. Suddenly a strong sense of nausea hit me. There was something in the air. I could feel the horror overtaking me again. Okay, 
here, so what the fudge toys am I supposed to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I look out the window again? Walls are annoying as hell. Okay, but well, what am I supposed to do, though? See what I gotta do. Once a new scene pops up, I restart it. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to lie down. I couldn't sleep. And I wouldn't have even if I could. I just wanted to rest. I waited for the world to stop spinning. I looked out a window. There was someone in the tree. I stared back, not able to register what I was going on. What was going on? I quickly pulled the blinds down. Lissy came through the door. She looked pale in this room. I dragged her to the bed and I laid her down. She was gasping for air as if something was suffocating her. Eventually, her breathing became more regular. I asked where the others were. She shrugged. The room had stopped spinning a bit, but I felt far more good. Far from good, ripped her. Suddenly, a voice could be heard from the locked door. What was worse, though, was that it was Celeste's voice? I immediately pulled my knife and placed it at the laying in the bed. Her eyes grew wide with shock and alarm, but they could have been faked. Then it became high-pitched, like a little girl. I pulled my knife away. I snapped out of my trance. Now the nausea was returning. I got to the door and opened it. There's nothing there but a trail of black liquid. Suddenly, I got this feeling that it might not be the best idea to go outside. I decided not to go outside. Yeah, I'm gonna be the smart white guy for once and not go outside. Suddenly, I got this sickening feeling in my stomach like something was seriously out of the place. I couldn't place the reason, but I would soon find out. What? Celissy was dead, lying in a pool of blood on the floor. It looked like she was, she had been shot. Panic started flowing through every vein in my body. Damn it. Oh my god. Michael was laying on the floor, shot to the... Death? Shot to death, whatever. I'm gonna ignore the thaw. How I know he was shot to death? Just a feeling. Recently shot to death. Darren was laying on the floor. I could see the wounds from a shotgun. Suddenly I realized, was there really someone outside? No. The shotgun. How tempting it had been. I had been looking for the right moment for a long time. The right moment for what, you ask? Why? The right moment to kill my friends, obviously. What else? The shotgun. Oh, how tempting you had been. I just had to do it. Always taking me for granted, those bastards! Just because I'm nothing special? This could teach them not to mess with me. Bad end. Fuck. Oh, this, this game's really not that long. Wow. Oh! Come next time, I'll try it again. Maybe I'll get the good ending. Oh, I'll just play it out to do the good ending. I guess next time I gotta follow the damn trace. 
Alright, outro. If you liked my video, go ahead, click that thumbs up button. <sighs> Woo! Alright. I blanked it. Alright. If you liked my video, go ahead, click that thumbs up button. Want to see more of my videos? Go ahead, check it out on my channel, NatMarcha002. Of course. You have anything to say about the video on what you liked? Or what I can do in my future videos to improve? Go ahead, leave a comment below. Want to show my vids to your friends and family? Go ahead, share me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And any other social medias you guys can think of. <laughs> and finally, if you want to join the Blarg Army, by all means, hit that subscribe button. Not Matcha 002, signing out. Peace.